huge crowd here at Football Park, a sellout. No score on the first five minutes of the grand final. Tap down. Trying to get through there was Bradley. Gone for holding the ball. The youngster in uh, only 17 years of age. And the free kick goes to Caldwell, who furthers the ball along the outer side. A nice looking kick. Corns up at the back. But in the front, the mark may have been paid to the Bay player or not. Turnahan. The umpire has ruled out of bounds, out of side. Throw in. Johnson, 25. Carey is five. Carey with strength grabs it. Looks for Painter, but uh, pushes it out too far. Ruled a free uh, a throw, and the free kick will go the way of the Port Adelaide ruckman, Russell Johnson. Five minutes gone, and still no score as Jun Johnson puts the Maggies into attack. Looks for Evans. Can't mark it. Bradley gets the crumbs. Needs support. Goes to the line. Swings with his left foot. Awkward bounce for Bolton. Favors Lahu. He's going to be run down by Kyle. Loses it. Kyle slips it to Bolton. Here's the goal. Bang it straight into the woodwork. The first score is on the board. It's a point to Port Adelaide, and it took five minutes and 50 seconds. A big mistake from an experienced player. He had Evans in the square to handball to, but ignored him. Coolman's kick in is good. Well taken by Johnson over the top of the carry. It's going to be a great encounter between those two. 15 metre penalty. Johnson still not confident of making the distance. On loan from the VFL, the kick off the line, and uh, it's gone through for one point to Port Adelaide. It's taken them six minutes to get two points with the breeze. Peter Marker. Yeah, Russell Johnson, uh, the player you mentioned, has had a tremendous year with Port Adelaide, and he started well. He's on top of Carey at the moment. Keith Coleman kicks to the outer side, and it's covered about 50 metres into the breeze. Fisted on by Carey. Kernahan and Phillips come down to meet it, but Corns it is that intercepts. Playing on the ball today, slips it over to Painter. The short pass looks for Coffey in front of Warren. Pats it back cleverly to Corns. Good football as the Bays go forward into the pocket. But there's a steadying mark in defence taken by Hughes. Hughes to Warren. Port Adelaide back to the centre of the ground. Belton the opportunity. Intercepting, however, was Peter Brown. Snared by Johnson to Clifford. Port Adelaide into attack now. Clifford got down behind play, but there's a good mark in defence by Keith Coleman. He's certainly having the better of Tim Evans in these opening minutes. Evans, who's kicked 96 goals so far this season for Port Adelaide, has pulled the kick to centre wing, and there's a magnificent mark to Kernahan. Kernahan to McFarlane. McFarlane chips in short, looking for Coffey. It's off hands to McDermott. A nervous kick forward, finds Brady. He's in trouble. Loses the ball to Eckerman. Eckerman sweeps it out wide. Warren, tapping in front of him, being well shepherded by Hoffman. Gets a kick to the open centre wing. McFarlane leaves it behind. Abernethy brilliantly done to Belton. Scooped it up. Belton gets around Pate. Threads out the handball. Here's a great opportunity for Clifford. Puts it in long and high into the pocket. Looking for Evans. At the back he's got it. Oh, he's got it. Tim Evans, after being outpointed in the first five or six minutes, has picked up a valuable mark for Port Adelaide in the pocket, just ten metres out but all on a very, very acute angle. Evans, as I said, with 96 to his credit for the season. Deliberating. Shoots with a drop punt. The umpire runs to his left. He's offline. The third minor score to Port Adelaide. Good movement, Port Adelaide. Belton got it to Clifford. Former Collingwood player. His kick was long, and Evans, who's been destroyed by Coleman up till now, Got in a good position, took it on the chest, but uh, the angle was too great for him. He couldn't score. Port Adelaide haven't started well. Three points in the first nine minutes. Gee, Peter, the Bays missed a valuable opportunity down the other end when they're into that open goal, but back with Port Adelaide. Kinnear hooked high towards full forward. One on one again. Evans over the top. Coleman in front. And the umpire rules a throw in adjacent to the behind post. Unlike a lot of full forwards in, uh, Tim Evans prefers to play from behind and... Uh, Keith Coleman's an All-Australian fullback, and he's six foot three and a half, so that's going to be difficult to score on him. Granger against Carey. Granger in front, straight to Seabohm. Jams it onto his boot quickly towards the half-back, Frank Johnson. Ebert back there with Corn, strikes the tackle, chips out the pass into the pocket, and Kinnear takes the ball. Maybe too far out to score. The breeze coming in from his left to right. He centres the ball towards the goal square. Kale at the back of the pack. Carey, big mark in the middle of the pack. And the big fella lumbers off short. Finds his skipper in Paul Weston inside the half-back line. 
Weston goes again short, this time to Painter. Can't scoop it up on the half volley, recovers well. Corns concedes ground, but then finally boots to the half forward line, looking for Kernahan. Warren back there, appeared to drop the ball. Kernahan, David Holt, across the half forward line, go the base towards McDermott, right there with him, Eckerman. Eckerman gets the ball out now. Tony Martin, not a good handball, got to go and get it himself. Fires a wild one towards centre wing, and there it's taken by Tim Kinnear. Tim Kinnear wants to have a go at Pawns. Better be careful. And Fire Schofield comes in to separate them. Kinnear gets on with the game and kicks it to centre half forward. Pate from behind, gets fist the ball. After he goes again, does battle on the ground with Clifford. Umpire Mead comes in, a line ball decision, and he'll bounce. What a